Hi everyone and welcome back. It's Elizabeth Bishop, Autodesk Fusion Instructor here. Today I want to walk you through some of the options you might have never have used in the Extrude tool, specifically when you're using the Cut operation. I'm going to start with the S on the keyboard here to bring up our design shortcuts and hit Extrude. Now what I'm working on here is a design for a valve and some of the aspects I want to do, we're going to use the Extrude Cut. So first up, I'm going to show this sketch here. Um, we're going to select these four holes here. Now what I want to do with this is to create an extruded cut. And you can see as I drag these through, we get that extruded cut. Now I want to cut both plates at the same time. But you see we've got this problem. It cuts through the main housing body if I do this. And we can't use the objects to cut here as um, it's just the housing. So we can't turn that off there. So instead, what I'm going to do is uh, use that start profile and use two objects and select that side there. So this means when we cut through the object there, we've got those cuts. And if we ever update the size of this part, that will update the cut there. And what we can do is we can turn that sketch back on and we can use the extrude again. So I've just selected it from the toolbar this time. We're going to select the same four profiles this time. And what we're going to do is use the start condition and we're going to use uh, from object this time. So I'm going to select the plate that I want to cut from. And I'll use the drag arrow to start that cutting through there. But again, we want this to be parametrically defined. So the extent type, I'm going to change to object and select that opposite side there. So you can see now we've created those cuts in both sides of the plate there using that one sketch. So if we need to update the sketch, update the sizes on that, both of those objects will update. We can also use this sketch here to start designing our other aspects of this part here. So I'm going to select that face there and use our start condition as an offset plane this time. So I'm going to use a four millimeter offset and my distance type I'm going to set as 10. And we can see that this creates as a new part here defined off that original sketch there. So we can start to use that to help define the rest of the part that we're building up if we need to. I'm going to use the extruder cut for one final part. I'm going to use this shaft geometry here to cut through this plate here. I'm going to do a quick sketch on the top plane, project through that shaft and create an offset for our clearance of one millimeter. I'm going to select this and just make it construction geometry to make our sketch a little bit easier. So just select that line, make that construction geometry to make our sketch a little bit cleaner. Now using the extruded cut again, I'm going to drag that through and I want it to go to the top of this housing here. But you see if we turn on a section analysis, this is cutting through the shaft itself and we don't want to do that. So in this case, we can use the objects to cut tool in our extruded cut to prevent that. So I don't want to cut the lid or the shaft in this case. I just want to create the top plate. So you can select those from the object to cut there. So there we go, some quick tips on the extruded cut feature in Autodesk Fusion. If you've liked this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you've got any questions, pop them in the comments below. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.